This week's story is about a famous person named Yosef Moike Shabbos. Yosef Moike Shabbos, who honored Shabbos. Here's the story. Yosef wasn't very wealthy, but he was famous for one thing. Do you know what he was famous for? For honoring Shabbos. Every day of the week, he would go into the market and he would look for the best things to buy for Shabbos. He would find the fish on Monday, he would buy the fish for Shabbos. If Tuesday he found the better fish, he'd buy that one and eat the one he bought on Monday. Like this, Yosef would constantly be enhancing Shabbos and honoring Shabbos, trying to have the very best for Shabbos. In the town that Yosef lived in was a very wealthy guy. He was the richest man in town. And he would walk through town like he owned the place. One night, he had a dream. A dream that really scared him. In the dream, he saw that all his wealth was destined to go to Yosef Micah Shabbos. That this Yosef was going to inherit all his wealth. This scared him. Why should some Jew get my wealth? I'm never going to let that happen. You know what he did? He sold all his properties. He sold all his possessions. Everything he owned. He sold his business. He sold his cattle. All his possessions. And with that, he bought, the Gemara says, an expensive pearl. A diamond or a precious gem. And with this diamond, he tucked it into his hat. He had it sewn into his hat. And wherever he went, he carried this hat with him. And he had the diamond. And like this, he protected his wealth. One day, he was walking on the bridge, and a great wind came. And the wind blew his hat straight into the river. He said, oh no, that's all my wealth. He ran to the ledge, he looked into the river, and he saw this big fish come and swallow up his hat. Oh gosh, what am I going to do? That Friday, the fishermen were there, and they had their nets out in the river, and they were fishing. And suddenly, they started pulling in the net and they said, Hey, this net feels a little heavy. And they pulled and they pulled and he says, Come give me a hand. And they pulled up this big net and they found this massive fish. They'd never seen a fish like this, but it was Friday afternoon. Everybody already bought fish for Shabbos. Who's going to buy this fish? They were thinking and discussing and they were asking around, Did anybody not buy fish yet for Shabbos? And they said, it's already two hours for Shabbos. Everybody bought fish. There was one fisherman there that said, I know, the Yid named Yosef, who's Micah Shabbos, if you come to him with a nicer fish than he has, he'll certainly buy it. So like this, they ran to Yosef. They knocked on his door. Yosef came out, he was showering for Shabbos. He said, what are you guys doing here? I already have fish. They said, no, we found the nicest fish you've ever seen. Look at this, and they opened up the wagon, and they showed him this huge fish. And the oyster said, hmm, that is a nice fish. I don't know. I already have fish, but what do I always do? I always buy a nicer fish. In honor of Shabbos, he said, fine. I already have fish, but in honor for Shabbos, quickly unload the wagon, take it in, and let me cook this thing for Shabbos. Yosef goes and he buys the fish for Shabbos. He quickly drags the fish into his kitchen. It's almost Shabbos. He's cutting open the fish and his knife, he hears it hit something hard in the belly of the fish. He keeps cutting it, he opens up and he finds this massive treasure, the big diamond. It says Yosef became fabulously wealthy. He helped all the Yidin of his town. All the Yidin had a better Shabbos from then on because of Yosef making Shabbos. Says the Gemara, why was Yosef rewarded? He was tested. If that's his thing, that he's going to always honor Shabbos, let's see, it's two hours before Shabbos. Is he really going to do that? Is he going to go and go the extra mile? And because he did that, the Shabbos sent him all the brachas, all the rewards. All the rewards that we get, all the blessings come from Shabbos. Because he stood to his thing and he made a commitment to always honor Shabbos to the best of his ability, he was rewarded great wealth and of course 